Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. My name is Aaron. We have huge news to share with you in this video. There are so many big things happening in America and around the world that just show you that cryptocurrency is about to explode in a huge, huge way. In today's video, I'm going to clue you in. This is why you subscribe, and I'm going to break down, put this in perspective. Why is this important, and what does it mean? For instance, another big Cardano deal is in the works in Africa. The mainstream media will never clue you into this. We're going to talk about it. This is why you subscribe. And this is being touted, by the way, as this will bring an additional 1 million users into the Cardano ecosystem. Yes, Cardano is in the early stages with another government partnership. The only question is, which country is involved? So comment below. Let me know which country you think is involved. We'll get to that in just a second. Also, this is pretty big. Coinbase has been approved to enter Japanese markets. They're bringing five cryptocurrencies with them. Five cryptocurrencies that are on Coinbase right now are about to hit Japanese markets on Coinbase. I'll clue in to which five coins in just a second. FTX, a major cryptocurrency exchange which just renamed Miami, Florida's uh, Heat Basketball Stadium, has also got a brand deal now with Major League Baseball. They're going to be advertising throughout Major League Baseball. I'll tell you all about this in just a second. Tesla, Facebook, Google Stocks. 50 tokenized stocks now available on Solana. Citigroup, the same Citigroup that's predicting an over 300,000 Bitcoin this year. The same Citigroup that's... Pred they put out a report saying Chainlink could outperform Bitcoin. That same Citigroup has just launched a digital asset unit within its wealth management division. We'll talk about that. Perhaps we should start right here because, make no mistake about it, this is huge as well. Andreessen Horowitz, a man known far and wide throughout America, throughout the world, as being one of the most successful venture capitalists on the planet, having one of the most successful venture capitalist firms in Silicon Valley, has just raised a mega 2.2 billion, with a B, cryptocurrency fund. They have hired... SEC veteran Hinman. I'll tell you why this matters in just a second. A few different things. Number one, this is the firm's third cryptocurrency fund. This is their biggest fund to date. And in actuality, this is the biggest cryptocurrency fund to date ever. 2.2 billion. A true watershed moment for Andreessen Horowitz and the whole cryptocurrency industry. Let's get into some details. The new fund shows that their venture firm, A16Z, has gone all in on crypto. The appointment of former SEC honcho Bill Hinman shows regulation is a major concern. But guess who Bill Hinman is? Bill Hinman was pivotal in making Ethereum not a security, but defined as a commodity um, throughout all of the US. So this is the man to bring on board, making sure everything is above board. Uh, very bullish on this. Um, so the firm's Cryptocurrency Fund 3 is by far the biggest fund dedicated to cryptocurrency to date. Investments from its first two crypto funds include well-known startups like Uniswap, like Compound, like Dapper, like Protocol Labs. Maybe you've heard of these. I think they're some of the biggest in the space. The massive new fund will be allocated to projects of all stages from new startups to established companies and seek to validate A16Z's thesis that crypto is a world-changing technology on the level of the internet. Quote, we are radically optimistic about cryptocurrency's potential to restore trust and enable new kinds of governance where communities collectively make important decisions about how networks evolve, what behaviors are permitted, and how economic benefits are distributed. This is hugely bullish. I keep showing stuff like this to you. The amount of money entering this space is crazy. Citigroup launches a digital asset unit within its wealth management division. You can kind of see what's being built, what's happening behind the scenes. Wall Street giant Citigroup has officially launched a new business unit dedicated to the cryptocurrency and blockchain space. The firm announced Thursday morning. The new group, dubbed Digital Asset Group, which will sit within its wealth management division, quote, given the exciting new developments we are seeing around cryptocurrency, 
tokenization and other advances powered by blockchain technology, we are pleased to announce the formation of the Digital Asset Group. This makes sense. We've been seeing the signs. If you subscribe to this channel, we've been seeing the signs for months and months, almost a year now. Move by City makes it the latest bank to break into the crypto wealth management. This is what I like to see and speak. I mean, they recognize the world is being tokenized. The world is turning digital. And speaking of that, Tesla, Facebook, Google stocks launch on the Solana blockchain. Over 50 tokenized stocks can now be traded across platforms built on Solana. And by the way, Solana was an additional coin mentioned by um, TA expert Wendy in our recent interview. So check out this video if you haven't. The video is about Matic, but she does say she... You know, she is looking at Solana and she'll tell you why. In other news, big, this is big for Major League Baseball, but this is even more huge for cryptocurrency holders. FTX becomes the official cryptocurrency exchange brand of Major League Baseball. Cryptocurrency exchange FTX has added another sports partnership to what is quickly becoming a laundry list of brand names. This is awesome. Cryptocurrency exchange FTX has just inked a new five-year deal with America's premier baseball league, America's pastime, Major League Baseball. The tie-up is primarily a marketing move, which I like from the crypto platform, but also represents also representatives from Major League Baseball said the partnership will also continue catering to a fan base of early adopters. So what's actually going to happen? Well, the logo for FTX.US, the exchange's US-based entity, will also be featured as a patch on, on umpire uniforms starting from the MLB All-Star Game July 13th. It'll go for five years. Additionally, the exchange has also earned a promotion rights through the various MLB-related channels, ranging from physical games to social media. So this is a marketing move, and that's all it needs to be. This is just going to get eyeballs. Just like how you see AT&T, or Spotify, or whatever the big name company is advertising at sports games, Pepsi, Doritos, cryptocurrency is becoming the new Doritos. Cryptocurrency is becoming the new Pepsi. Coinbase has been approved to enter Japanese cryptocurrency markets. Coinbase is now registered as a cryptocurrency exchange to operate in Japan. The Japanese financial regulator has approved Coinbase to trade five cryptocurrencies. According to the FSA, Coinbase is now approved to trade Bitcoin, Bcash, Ether, Stellar, and Litecoin. Are these the five coins that you would expect them to list first? It's interesting, right? Anyways, the approved entity is a Japanese subsidiary of Coinbase Global, now a NASDAQ-listed company. Coinbase unveiled its plans to enter into the Japanese crypto market all the way back in 2018. Perhaps you remember us telling you about this. It's finally happened. These things take time. The company said at the time that it would be working hand in hand with the Japanese FSA to ensure compliance with local laws at every stage, and that has finally come to fruition. All right, I want to talk to you about Cardano. I want to talk to you about Cardano's big partnership in Africa. Before we get to this, however, attention all cryptocurrency builders. Have you ever wanted to create your own token? Well, now you can finally create your own coin on Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum with no coding required. Any parameter, any feature, any restriction, any specification that you would want, you can do with Mint. This is a really cool product, and this section of the video is sponsored by TrustSwap and Mint. So, Take a look at your screen right now because what you're watching is a literal walkthrough of the Mint platform. I'm going to link this website in the comments below so you can check this out for yourself. As you can see, this is a one-stop shop, any feature, any restriction that you would want to put in your own cryptocurrency token, you can on Mint. You can plug, you can play, you can launch. You create your own audited cryptocurrency within minutes no coding required. And of course, this is in line with the protection and the security that you already receive within the Trust Swap ecosystem. So if you visit their website, you will be able to do this. You will be able to either do this or research it further. Or even you can look at the tokens that have already been created on the Mint platform. Some of these look really cool. 
Some of these look more promising than others, but that's the beauty of the Mint platform. Anybody can take advantage of this. For more information, visit the website linked below. And by the way, guys, this is the same trust swap which recently welcomed the crypto app to their family. The crypto app was already successful before trust swap. They had 2 million downloads, ranked third on Android App Store when you search crypto. The crypto app is poised to become the global one stop shop aggregator for all things crypto. So we like trust swap, we like mint. Let's get to this. Another big Cardano deal is in the works in Africa. Cardano is in its early stages with another government partnership, but which country is involved? Well, as you recall, at the end of April, Cardano developer Input Output Global announced significant partnership deals with the likes of Ethiopia, with the likes of Tanzania. But... According to IOG's Director of African Operations, John O'Connor, another significant deal is in the works. It seems like Cardano is really, you know, focusing on Africa. We have a lot of Bitcoiners in South America. Cardano is trying to corner Africa. It's interesting how this is playing out. So like the Tanzania tie-up, this will likely feature cooperation between a local government and the private sector with IOG technology bridging the partnership. The focus of the Tanzania deal is to build scalable infrastructure in conjunction with World Mobile. The project intends to provide mobile internet access to Tanzania while also offering digital identity to form the basis of socioeconomic development. So although O'Connor is keeping quiet on the specifics of the new deal, he did let slip that it relates to payments and open finance an additional 1 million users coming aboard the Cardano network. So this is what he tweeted earlier in the month. Today, I wrote a letter to a president, found a million users to bring onto Cardano, and had a damn good cup of coffee. It's only midday. Looking forward to the afternoon. Love being part of Input Output Gang. So when quizzed on the specifics of this deal during a recent interview, O'Connor sidestepped the question. Instead, he said, it's a bad idea to put more pressure on himself than necessary by giving away details before signing contracts. So I thought it was pretty significant when Cardano did this with Ethiopia, when they did this with Tanzania. And, uh, you know, we can only speculate at this point what it's going to be. We will keep you updated on Altcoin Daily. And that is it for us today. I'll chat with you more in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow. It's turning into a great year, I think.